Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Real Videos. My name is Tom, and this is the Call of Cthulhu. We have just arrived at the Nameless Bookstore. Guys, it's that time once again. Let's get it on. Right, inspect the bookstore. Where is the bookseller? Alright. Guys, I hope you guys have been paying attention to this horror game that we're playing. If you do like horror games, let me know. By all means, let me know. Um, I'm kind of looking for my niche at the moment in the old YouTube world, so if I find that uh, the horror games do well, I'll keep going with it. Alright. Let's take a quick picture of that. Boom. Alright. Let's carry on, shall we? Boop, boop. An old diary. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Ah. Uh -huh. Diary of the pastor's wife, volume 4. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Go here, actually. Trying to figure out what's going on. What the hell? Bro, you got some freaky stuff here, mate. Dark War History, Harry Campbell, Volume 4. In the 19th century, the American whaling industry reached its peak for the rest of the world. Whales gradually disappeared from the water surrounding Dark War. This phenomenon appears to even be most mysterious because up until then the region was favoured refugee of Cretaceans. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Sicilia returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. His crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all and disappearance of whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast onto the whaling ship. Oh, alright. So this big creature was killing whales, was it? Ah. Okie dokie. Almost was that, what's that? Oh, we have a land. I forgot about the land. Interesting. Bit of a look around, see what's going on. He said, "Explore the bookshop, inspect the bookstore." The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. These Tibetan writings are from the origins of the eccentric movement founded by Helena Blavatsky. Excuse me if I butchered that name. At the end of the 19th century, the creator of her philanthropy was, would have drawn excuses for the text of its work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. I thought they didn't exist. This book, discovered in the nameless bookstore on Darkwater, could be much a fake as irrefutable proof of the Blavatsky's sincerity. A nameless book story. Okay. Even a few years back, it was possible for the singular practitioner to be known in the medical knowledge of his time. This book, which concludes a series, shows this is how virtually impossible about ten renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Oh, a collection, you said. Let's 
check. Oh, we've got two points to spend. Interesting. to influence those who talk to the power of speech. <laughs> cool. Validate. Yes. Alright, we want to uh, be able to persuade people, don't we? Alright. What happened here? Well, alright. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. So somebody broke through the door. Paul left his footprint. A man, probably. Okay. So we got a footprint. Right. Alright, so we got a footprint in a sloppy amateur breaking. struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? Oh, so he got himself hurt, did he? Interesting. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? A scared one. That's what type of scared thief. What killed all these animals? Hello, princess. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Symbol rejected Hawkins. Oh. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. A book. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Hello. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Page to be seated here. It, a page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in the plane of reality, in order to they may be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother, if she is to still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to the most precious possession. It lies within my safe. 
and the clues to the combination are found in three cylinders, each hidden where where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if the celebrated author's order of the order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of imagination. Indeed, despite my preference of organized chaos, I must admit the reason usually prevails to the end. But if by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to touch my intellect and find a combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Mistokic University. The content of the safe is not only the vastest digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger in which represents and you will be accordingly you will act accordingly in any event I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions uh, interesting okay so I gotta open the safe do I Three cylinders, eh? A handbook of autonomy and discipline. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yeah, probably. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Ah, this key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is a form of cylinder medallion hanging from the end of the heavy chain hundreds of years ago. The star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved in its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore from its last owner. An Egyptian antique dealer. Its presence cutting that dimension and misdemeanor of the date of the robbery coincide with a late Hawkins trip to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true pur purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Open the safe. How do I open the safe? Whoa. Arkham Editions? Never heard of him. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Whoa. Hello. Just hanging around, are we? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Interesting. Things are not looking good. No, they're not. Ah, here we go. One, two, and three. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Wow, that was a short one. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. 
I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay. <clears throat> right. These are three cylinders. said the key bears a sign of one capable to protect my psyche uh, further not the objects of trail to be followed in the back room there are the messages that confirms that that person's aim However, there is no material evidence to support the, the identity of the burglar should indeed appear to me, as well as the star symbol the door the same. I cannot determine the presence of Sir Hawkins.
So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Okay, so... What did Drake say about this collection? Hmm. Drake talked about a particular volume. Wait a minute. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? Five, six, seven, eight, volume eight. Drake talked about a particular volume. volume. Six. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? Nine. Or oh, 11. No, 9. It has to be 9. Uh. Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that so Drake was talking about in his message. Is it IV is volume... So let's try six. What did Drake say about this collection? Eight. Drake talked so about five. a particular five, volume. No. So six. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking Eight. about in his mess. What did Drake say about this collection? V1. V is five. And one, so five plus one is six, so six. So that means that, that Drake talked about a particular four. volume. So four. So these are the volumes that eight. Drake was talking about. What did Drake say about six. this collection? Four, eight, six. Let's try that. Four. Eight. Six. That's not it. Right. Oh hell. Um. Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. So four. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Four, six. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Four, six, three. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his... What did Drake say about this collection? Ah, uh, what did he say? Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hi. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azeroth and, and Other, and other horrors. horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my Azeroth research. Azeroth and Other Horrors, right. I never tire of browsing through them. Let's find that one. Drake talked about a particular volume.
Okay, so that's the book he was talking about. Interesting. Okay. So that's nine. Okay. Nine. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Four. What did Drake say about this collection? Eight. Nine four eight. Got it. Five three nine. Guys, code five three nine. Okay. Something strange happening. Whoa. So he opened the book and his mind was projected into another body. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced a trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe and found the letter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. The book was covered in human skin. Lied inside, irresistibly attracted to the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Okay. And I'm back at the Riverside Institute. Oh, no. Okay, okay. 
Interesting. This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Hmm. Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Yep. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. Hmm. But that doesn't explain his condition. Okay. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? He's transforming I'm sure into you'll find an explanation. You have to. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is. This man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What Whoa. do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. 
And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Well... These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. What? No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Would you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Ah, oh, mate, this is getting crazy. I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. Yep. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Cool. Right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Guys, as always, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye now. Right. Guys, as always, I am found on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Guys, don't forget to check me out. And guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye.